Hello everyone and welcome to Learning with Lee, where we discuss nature and wildlife on Kiowa Island. I'm your host, Lee Bundrick, Land Preservation Coordinator with the Kiowa Conservancy. The maritime forest is made up of a diverse variety of flora and fauna. Most may think of cabbage palms and live oaks as being the most important, but pine trees play a surprisingly big role in this ecosystem. They are adept at living in a range of environments, thriving in those with even harsh conditions. Some can live for up to 300 years, with longleaf pines being shown to live up to 500 years. Today we are talking about three native species found on Kiowa Island and how they are important to the ecosystem, animals, and humans. The slash pine is a native pine tree on Kiowa Island and is also found in the warmer climates in the southeastern United States. It can be identified by its glossy dark green needles, deep purple male pollen cones, and brownish purple trunk with wide furrows. It also will have glossy reddish brown pine cones that will grow alone on the branches. It is also prevalent because it can grow in very wet areas where other plants may not be able to. Pine trees are tolerant of many of the harsh conditions found in the coastal region of South Carolina, especially those on Kiowa Island, which makes them very good species to live beside the marsh edges. As you can see, this one has fallen down at some point and has actually fell into the marsh. Uh, the tip of it uh, that went into the marsh has actually died, but the living part of the trunk has actually sprouted out new growth and actually created this tree which has actually sprawled out into the marsh to capture sunlight. So for some reason this tree has fallen down and not given up and it's actually tried to, to continue living. The loblolly pine is another native tree to Kiowa. It is also the second most widespread tree in the United States. It has slender green and yellow green needles and a gray or reddish brown trunk. It is able to tolerate both wet and dry soils and grows well in both. This is one of the most common trees in the Carolinas. The loblolly pine is a prevalent tree in the southeast and is often associated with uncultivated farmland and timberlands. They are also more prevalent in the center and western region of Kiowa Island. One of the easier ways to tell the difference between our two most common pines on the island, the slash pine and loblolly pine, is by using their pine cones. Fully grown loblolly pines will have clusters of pine cones on their branches, and they're often matte colored and gray. Slash pines, on the other hand, only have singular pine cones on their branches and have a more reddish brown color, with a little bit of glossy tint to them. Occasionally, these two species of pine can hybridize, which can make identification sometimes challenging. The longleaf is another pine tree found in the region. They have an orange brown scaly bark and long, bright green needles that range from 8 to 18 inches in length. The first seven years of their growth is their grass stage, where they appear as a tall grass. After this stage, they begin to take form of a tree and can take up to 100 years to reach full maturity. It is a very long-lived tree that can live up to 500 years old. The longleaf has historically been found on Kiowa Island, but were removed around a century ago for timber. A handful of planted longleaf pines can be found along the roadside of Flyway Drive on Kiowa Island. Pine trees have been around for over 140 million years, tackling the harsh conditions found in ancient earth since then. Because pines have adapted and developed grit over time, they have been conditioned to tolerate a variety of extreme conditions from drought, high and low temps, and fertile soils. This allows them to thrive in many different and diverse ecosystems across the world. Many woodpeckers utilize pine trees for food and shelter because of their relatively soft wood. This includes the endangered red cockaded woodpecker, which utilizes all three pine species mentioned in this episode. They prefer mature longleaf pines, but have utilized loblolly and slash pines because of the drastic decline in longleaf pine populations in the southeast over the years. Dead pines, called snags, provide excellent habitat for woodpeckers as well. A woodpecker that you can commonly see in our maritime forest is the pileated woodpecker. Pine trees are also beneficial to humans because they keep soil stable and protect areas from wind damage. They also help home significantly by keeping the heat down with their shade. The fallen pine needles are also a conservation tool for water. Due to their composition, they hold onto the water, preventing nutrients to run out of the soil. This is very important in coastal areas like Kiowa where soil is sandy and often sterile. Although sometimes overlooked, pine trees play a large part in the ecosystem here on Kiowa, providing benefits to both humans and wildlife. Through providing shelter to unique and endangered species, and also playing an important role in living in areas where soil is too sterile for other plants. 
Stay tuned for more information and content about the island on the Kiowa Conservancy's YouTube channel and social media. Thanks for joining and we hope you join us for another episode of Learning with Lee.